Hello and welcome to another Tim Allen 1337 video. Today we're going to be going over what Black Desert Online will look like at release for Xbox. So let's start with what to focus on from the start of the game. Alright, so let's start with knowledge and ecology. When you kill a mob, you have a chance to gain knowledge on it. And even if you have knowledge on it, you have a chance to get better knowledge on it until you get to an S rank knowledge on a mob. Now that goes into your ecology section of your overall knowledge and then those turn into points that give you a global buff for a rare drop chance no matter what you're grinding. It's extremely important and I think that's the one thing that people who are new to the game need to know is that if you grind out all of these mobs early on, get them to S rank or A plus or whatever you can bear for the grind, it will benefit and pay off for the rest of the game. I promise you, if you don't do it now, you will be going back to do it later. Okay, did you get all that? If not, rewind a little bit. But on top of all that, gaining knowledge actually increases your maximum energy across all of your characters on your account. And one of the main uses of energy is to invest into nodes we are grinding so you can get another bonus to rare loot drops. It does require that you do the contribution thing and you connect all the nodes and invest in them and stuff like that. So make sure you're doing quests along the way if you're really interested in doing that so you can get the contribution points. And remember, if you ever disconnect a node, you're going to lose all the energy you invested into that node. The other option is you ignore all that and you just level as fast as possible, which is what I'm going to be doing. It wasn't my original idea. I was going to take the methodical approach to getting all these buffs early in the game because they accumulate, right? Every time you grind, you're using those buffs. It's the smart way to do it. But I want to have more fun. I want to get out there. I really want to level and grind at the high end spots with my friends as soon as possible. I'll go back and I'll get all that ecology stuff later. But this is really what I want to focus on in the beginning. So that brings me to the thing that I was most pleasantly surprised about with the beta. This isn't day one Black Desert Online from three years ago. Even though there's no awakening, only a few classes, you can enchant over plus 15, there's plenty of quality of life things that have been added like ecology and the new marketplace that makes this a great way for new players to get into the game and a fun revisit for veterans like myself who wouldn't want to give up luxuries we've become accustomed to so we can just use our skill and experience for a fresh start and maybe enjoy some nostalgia. There was quite a few events during the final beta, and I have to say, they were all pretty good. My capture card came in a little late and I was extremely sick during the beta, so I didn't get all the footage that I wanted. But here's some footage of a server-wide Zarka that we all did. Outside of some connection issues on the first node war, everything went really smoothly in the final beta. And from what I can tell, the sketchy servers and desync that's commonplace in the PC version doesn't really exist on the Xbox. It's easy to tell that Node War and Siege will be a struggle, especially in the beginning. But grouping that many people in one area, in one server, will always be this game's eternal struggle, no matter what the platform. However, 60 people in a red battlefield team versus team deathmatch with all the effects on didn't noticeably affect the frame rate of the Xbox or the servers. A big drawback here is you will have to leave your Xbox on to AFK life skill, and it's a big part of your income, especially early in the game. I've played this on both the Xbox S and X. Obviously with the graphical increases for the X, I recommend playing it actively on the X, but I also recommend having a second Xbox to AFK on. Now I didn't see any big heat problems or issues or even the fans going too crazy, even during the 60 man red battlefield I did on the X, but I'm still a little nervous about leaving it on constantly. Okay, Tim, you've been playing this game for three years, so what class should I pick? Easy, Witch or Wizard. Uh, Ranger won't be a bad pick in the very beginning with their descending current spams, uh, but when Awakenings come out, they tend to fall off. But with so few classes at the beginning, Witch and Wizard has never been a bad pick in three years of PC. If you want to heal, provide utility, grind quickly, do big boy range damage, that's the class for you. Which is widely accepted as slightly better than Wizard when you take their Awakenings into consideration, which again won't be out in the very beginning of Xbox, but either is an excellent choice. Sork is a great choice too, but most of us PC Master Race people think that it's going to be really difficult to control that class with an Xbox controller. There's very few bad choices for a class in BDO, it largely comes down to skill and practice. So if you're unsure, play around with the classes, take your time in choosing, because investing money into inventory slots, weight, horse whistle, costumes, it all adds up. It's expensive to re-roll. 
So to wrap it up, there's a lot to be excited about here. This is a really ambitious game for Xbox, and it works, surprisingly. There seems to be a lot of support coming from the developer Pearl Abyss to promote the game and have events from the start, which is really important. If you played the release of PC, the nostalgia is really fun. If you've never played the game and you've been waiting for the release of this game on Xbox, I don't think it could have come at a better time. Having the quality of life and some of the new features that we're enjoying on PC really makes this game as accessible as it's ever been. I just hope they give us an option to turn off screen shake and zoom out a little bit. So that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to keep working on newer player guides and be sure to update or redo them as major patches come through. Be sure to watch me live on Twitch at 3 a.m. Eastern, Friday, March 1st, right as the Xbox servers come live. I'm going to be racing to level 51 with a few of my fellow streamers. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel as well. And be sure to catch my live streams on Twitch Monday through Wednesday starting at 8 p.m. Eastern and Saturday starting in the early afternoon. I'll catch you next time.